Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück bei Riding the Dragon. Ein Erlebnis, das du nur einmal im Leben hast und das niemals vergessen wirst. Hallo. <lacht> habt ihr Bock auf Opium? <lacht> habt ihr Bock auf Opium? Dann ist gut. Äh, habt ihr ein Problem, ihr Spinner. So, gucken wir uns mal um. Drachi? Poor horse. That fellow in the armor must have weighed a ton. Er ist nicht so unbedingt, ne? Da, da, da. They're really dedicated to their theme in here, aren't they? Da, da ist der Riss. Now I see why they call it riding the dragon. Okay, wir erst mal mit She's ihr. She's not gonna be much help right now. Okay. Let's not to bother her. Können wir nicht erst Opium rauchen? <lacht> Excuse me, I'm looking for a man by the name of Darius. Well, Steht doch drauf. No further. Welcome, friend. Sit. Join me. I'll stand, if that's all right. I was wondering if I could ask oh, you a few questions. Questions are the path to enlightenment. Answers fly by as birds on the breeze. But will the cage bird sing? That is the true question. Yeah. Wonderful. He's as high as a kite. This is going to be worse than pulling teeth. As high as a kite. Even in Vega. Ja. Are you familiar with a man named Ronald oh, Spade? I know many men. Some old, some young, some rich, some poor. Some I know by name, some by face. But this man you speak of, this Ronan, he is unfamiliar. Ronan hat sich an wie auch einen Ronan halt. Mm, forgive me, but my eyes are blurry. I cannot make out his features. Well, he's useless, isn't he? Too bad there's no way to snap him out of it, like there was with Dupre's kid. Ja, ich wollte gerade fragen, ist das schon wieder so eine Richtung? Ja. Do you know anything about the murder outside the Silent Raven on election night? Murder? Was it a murder? It was. A man was shot in cold blood. That would explain the commotion, as well as the sound. <lacht> so you heard the gunshot? I did. I thought it might have been one of the voting machines making the noise. But then there were shouts, and people began to run. Did you see or hear anything before you heard the gunshot? I seem to remember hearing a man shouting a name. A name? Yes. It sounded like Priscilla. Well, how about that? He's managed to be of some use after all. Assuming he's telling the truth, of course. And does the name Priscilla mean anything to you? Afraid not, young man. Hmm. Priscilla. What can you tell me about the Silent Raven? Ah, the, the Raven. Raven. My home away from home. I would have thought that was this place. Unless this one is just the home. <laughs> you have any friends there? People you speak with often? Yes, friends. I call them friends anyway, but really... What's what a friend? A friend? <laughs> Someone who drinks with you? Someone who shares secrets with you? Are those friends? My father used to tell me that the only two friends you had were your mother and the crown in your pocket. Well, both of those are gone now. So what does that mean for me? I don't know, sir. I'm just asking about people you speak to at the Raven. The barmaid, Nicole. She gets mad at me sometimes hmm. when I break things. <laughs> But she's all right. Ah, stimmt, das ist ja der, der so böse werden kann, wenn er voll ausrastet. Und was so denn jetzt so ein Spanner? Ja. Ah, singing Tom. Der patron called Singing Tom. Tom. Singing Tom. You mean old Tom Puffin? I'm not sure. I was just told he was called Singing Tom and was a regular at the Silent Raven. That's the man. I see him in here all the time. <laughs> here, not just at the Raven? Tom is a child of the poppy, just as I am. He truly understands the world as it is. Do you know where I might be able to find him? Yes. He's the choir master at St. Denis Cathedral. That's where he spends his time when he's not here. You mean to tell me we have to talk to another one of these loonies? <laughs> Wonderful. Ah, ich mag ihn. Können wir dich noch irgendwas fragen? Do you often come to this establishment, Darius? Oh yes. This place is better than any doctor or hospital. It has exactly the cure I need. Cure? For what? I'm ill, sir. Just as you are. Just as we all are. Infected by a terrible disease <laughs> known as... Life. Speak for yourself. But so <laughs> in here with the intoxicating nectar of the puppy, and you'll find nothing can defeat you. <laughs> That's schon gut geschrieben. Ja, die Gags sitzen da. Also, es trifft mein Humor ganz gut. Whether you saw a certain man at the Raven on election night. He's tall, strong build, 
with a beard or mutton chops, dressing all in black and possibly wearing a cap. Lots of people like that go to the 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 I see lots of them every night. But now that you mention it, I do remember someone like that. He was a strange one. How so? I remember one of the times he came in, he was adjusting his hat. I could have sworn when he took it off for just a moment, his hair was bright red. Uh -huh. That was so up to that. Yeah. Because his beard was jet black. It was the oddest thing I'd seen. Well, it was the oddest thing I'd seen until his beard slid halfway down his face. I see. <sighs> Hat can butt. Well, mm -hmm. Thank you for the information. Wonderful. This testimony is about as useful as a hole in the head. Then again, there might be something to it. Sehr ja. nett, hat sich das so zusammensetzt dann. Okay, Upton. May you find peace in the cathedral. Yeah. Das Hieb ist Upton. 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 So voll high. Ja, nicht, Nein, äh, Upton ist stand, aber jetzt die Polizei. Aber da stand Upton drauf. Ja, da ist Uptons Face drauf. Da ist aber nicht Upton drin. Hier ja, ist Upton drin. Ich bin richtig im Stecker. Ich habe die ganze Zeit immer so Joshua drüber mit den Bicken. Ja, Constance. Upton. Can we talk for a moment, Upton? Yes. Certainly. Wir müssen da was äh, anpassen. Strange man. You... Sure. Could you... So, er ist definitiv ha. tall. He's tall. tall. All right. What color is this? Red. red. I'm certain it's red. Hmm. All right. Do you know of any unique... Uh, dressed on in black. Ja, das ist definitiv. I was told he was dressed all in black. I see. Well, up. Immer noch zu generic? Okay. All right. Gibt's schon mehr die Tests. Aber das wir jetzt nicht erzählen anything. können, das wahrscheinlich kein Thanks, echten Bart hat, ey. Naja, er hat gar keinen Bart, haben wir ja nicht angegeben. Ja, das konnten wir aber nicht, oder? Also, nee, ja, ja, klar, aber das macht ja auch Sinn, weil in Wirklichkeit hat er keinen Bart. Er genau, wird wahrscheinlich genau. auch normalerweise ohne den Bart rumlaufen, deswegen genau. gibt man das äh, nicht okay, an. Genau, ja, total Sinn ergeben gerade, was du sagst. Sag mir solche Dinge. Auf nach Saint Denis Cathedral. Cathedral. Oh. Ich muss auch kurz wirken lassen. Der Mann von einer Freundin von mir spielt tatsächlich auch Orgel, also professionell. Hm. Mr. Riddle. Auch in der Philharmonie. This angel looks like it would throw its lamp at you as soon as you turned your back on it. <laughs> <laughs> Prayer candles? People think lighting one of these is going to solve their problems. If only it were that easy. Also, what happens if they go out? Does that mean your prayer gets cancelled? Halt die Klappe. <laughs> it's an important question. <laughs> Oh, du kannst manchmal. The more I think about it, the more I want to test my theory about prayers being cancelled if the candles go out. Kannst jetzt pusten? Kannst du alle auspusten? Ja, kannst du. Willst du machen? Wenn du schon so ein Arschloch bist. Ich meine, mit Miles ist er auch zynisch. Der macht sowas ja mit. Sicher nett, dass du mit dem Mundzeichen auch gemacht hast. Well, that's all of them. Hope you made a wish. Ich hoffe, uns hat jemand beobachtet und fliegen jetzt raus. Oh. Now this is one intriguing chest. If only we could search it without arousing any suspicions. Warum sollte man mal rein in diese Küche reingehen als Private Investigator? Einfach ausgerechnet diese Chest und so. Weil meine Schüssel hat da irgendwo reinpasst. Ja, natürlich gehört er dazu, aber what the fuck? Das ist trotzdem ein bisschen random. Guten Tag. I beg your pardon. Are you Tom Puffin? Oh, I am. How may I help you? Miles Fordham, private investigator. I wanted to ask you a few questions. Questions? Have I done something wrong? No, Mr. Puffin. Mr. I simply Puffin. believe you may have some information that I need. Mr. Puffin. Very well, then. No! He sees how hot it is on Miles. What is this? He sees how hot it is on the one. Content notes. <laughs> oh. You recognize the man in this photo? <laughs> is that? No. No, never mind. What is it? Well, for a moment, I thought it was someone else, but I, I was clearly mistaken. So you don't recognize ah, this person now? Ah, vielleicht hat er sich öfter verkleidet. not. Who is he? His name is, or rather was, Ronan Lespay. What? Is he dead? He is. I'm trying to find out who killed him. Well, I hope you find your man, Mr. Fordham. Mhm, mhm, mhm. Lass mal 10 Minuten mal was über dich und deine Ohren. 
Oh, well, I, I studied music at the University of New Britannia. Once I completed my studies, I began writing symphonies in hopes of securing a patron, but I, I had no luck. So I decided to focus on choral compositions. I sent a few pieces to the bishop, and he offered me the position. And you enjoy it? Oh, yes, sir, immensely. I'm able to continue composing songs for our choir, as well as teach music to our young members. I take my church duties very seriously. What else do you do besides lead the choir? <laughs> There's a few yeah, things one of them. <laughs> here and there, making sure the aisles and the pews are clean, tending to the prayer candles, and that sort of thing. Ja, guck mal, wenn du ihn das zuhältst, seine Frisur oben ohne raus zu einer Frau. Ich meine, so ein Mix. Ach, ist das eigentlich ein Backenbart? Ja, deswegen lache ich ja so. Ja, so eskaliert, äh. What were you doing on election night, Mr. Puffin? Election night. Deswegen hast du Puffin It was four nights ago, to be precise. Oh, you have to understand. I have trouble recalling what I ate for breakfast this morning, let alone what happened four nights ago. Well, isn't that convenient? Do try to remember, Mr. Puffin. It's quite important. Oh, well, I know I voted at my local polling place, the Silent Raven. And then. Ich muss gerade an deine Good, good Morning, Good Afternoon Fading. Do you know anything about the murder outside the Silent Raven? Murder? Yes, a man was shot. Did you see or hear anything? I, I don't remember. I don't think so, no. How long were you at the Raven that evening? Not very long, I don't think. I went, voted. Stay for a drink, and then I left. You recall what you did the rest of the evening? Not specifically. I probably went home and went to bed, like I always do. Wie glaube ich dem nicht? Ah, ich spreche erstmal über Priscilla. Does the name Priscilla mean anything to you? Priscilla? What does that have to do with anything? The name has come up in my investigation. Is it someone you're acquainted with? No, it isn't. I don't know anyone by that name. Hmm. He certainly seemed concerned about her, though. Hmm. Are you in the habit of using opium, Mr. Puffin? What? Why would you think that? I met your friend Darius. He told me you share a pastime. All right, yes. I do enjoy a visit to the opium den from time to time. From time to time? More like morning, noon, and night. Have you found the drug has had any adverse effects? Memory loss, for example. I admit I'm not quite as quick as I used to be, but without it, I'm in constant pain. Is that right? I fell off a horse when I was 15, and ever since then, my back's not been right. The doctors haven't been able to help. The poppy is my only comfort. I wish there were another way. Uh, it might be worth seeking a more professional opinion about the effects of opium. Hmm. Hmm. It seems that all the prayer candles have gone out. <laughs> have they? Last, I keep saying there's a drag. It's coming in box. Nobody's done anything mm -hmm. about it. Excuse me for a moment, won't you? Yeah, it's coming in the box. Los, schnell, 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 schnell. It's auch gar nicht niemand. No. Man kann's auch trotzdem nicht irgendwie sehen. Hey. Let's hope this chest hasn't got squeaky hinges. Liebster Nett, dein letzter Brief hat mich vor Freude kichern lassen. Oh, das fängt mit P an. Ich kann nicht aufhören, von dem Tag zu träumen, an dem wir endlich unseren Traum verwirklichen und zusammen als Mann und Frau leben können. Ich denke, es wäre eine tolle Idee, einen Welpen zu kaufen. Ich denke schon über einen Namen nach. Was hättest du denn von Wulfi? Nee, Wuffi. Wuffi. Alle, alles Liebe, P. P. Na, wie die Frau, die wir suchen. Priscilla. Ja. Ja. Wie heißt die Frau von Elvis Presley? Oder ist nicht auch Priscilla? Boah. Priscilla Presley? Weiß ich gerade nicht. Was? Ja, weiter spielen. Wir werden einfach ignoriert. Ja. Do I have another moment of your time, Mr. Puffin? Ja. Yes. Ich will deine Hunde Ohren nochmal sehen. Hä? Nett? Ned Stark? Ned Stark? Ich war Ned Stark? Ned, was? Yes, I do. Stand, ich den, stand da in einem Brief? Ned Bunkridge. Your nephew? 
Yes? Why do you ask? Where might I find Ned? I'd like to speak with him. Is everything all right? Ned hasn't gotten into any trouble, has he? I always tell him just because he's training his body, that's no excuse to pick fights. What, what the hell? No, he mm -hmm. hasn't gotten into any trouble. Oh, well, uh, he lives in Lyon. 511 Parkside Terrace. Right. Thank you for the information. And goodbye. Just see you I'll later. You your Thank you. Have a blessed day. Noch mal ein bisschen Musik. Kurz mal das Notizbuch wälzen, wenn wir ein bisschen Bucke haben dazu. Speak to Edwards about the murder? Haben wir doch eigentlich gemacht. Uh, naja, da gibt es vielleicht später noch mehr, yeah. wie immer. Lawrence Apartment haben wir eigentlich auch schon nach Clues untersucht. Wir müssen mit Ned Bunkridge sprechen. Ja. Es geht halt immer erst dann weg, ja. wenn man ja wirklich alles hat. Ja. Small Golden Key. Ja. Wir haben die Description, wir haben das Gesch Aussage, nicht Geständnis. Ähm. Ah ja, das war der Name Priscilla. Small Golden Key. Wissen wir noch nicht, wofür ihn benutzt. Postmortem Results. Man kann sich diesen Brief nicht nochmal angucken, ne? Ne. Doch. No, Letter no. to Ned. Ah, dearest Ned, okay. Ja. Ned Stark. Was sagt die Zeit? Die Zeit sagt mir noch Zeit. Zeit für Ned? Ja. Right this way, sir. Mr. Bunkridge is in his gymnasium. Thank you, my good man. In his. Okay. Well, you take a look at this place. And take a look at him. Maybe you should consider doing some training yourself, Miles. You aren't getting any younger after all. So nicht rot. Some kind of martial art? Doesn't look like any I've ever heard of. What in the ether is that supposed to be? Looks like some kind of medieval torture device. Nee, du setzt dich doch auf und du kannst Gewichte noch. Das ist doch für den B und Triebseps, je nachdem wie rum du was machst. It seems to be where Ned keeps his extra equipment and assorted other garbage. They don't look that heavy to me. Guck dir noch die Hand von der Wand an. Vielleicht haben die irgendwelche Spuren. Oh, look, maybe you can slip these on and go a couple of rounds with Ned. If that's his best right hook, he'll be a pushover. And after that expert knockout okay. you delivered Officer Grant, <laughs> he won't stand a chance. Okay. Just when I thought I'd seen it all. What will they do? <laughs> <think laughs> <next? laughs> Hello. Excuse me, Mr. Bunkridge. Whoa. Hello. Who are you? I'm Miles Fordham, a private investigator. Your valet let me in. Right, of course. What can I do for you? I have a few questions for you, if you'd be so kind. Yes, all right. I could use a bit of a rest anyway. Kleiner Ani hier. Are you familiar with a man named Ronan Lespay? Never heard of him. I have his portrait. Maybe you recognize him? No. I've never seen this man before, but... Huh. How about that? How about what? The detail in this ferrotype is a bit fuzzy. But his facial features and hair? They vaguely resemble mine. You know, now that he mentions it, it's true. The spade does bear a passing resemblance to this fellow. Not quite as handsome, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so, you know durch. nothing about the murder outside the Silent Raven four nights ago? That's right. I don't even know what the Silent Raven is. It's a bar in the Chum. Well, that explains it. For one thing, I don't go to that part of town. A man like me sets foot in that den of ruffians, and I'll have every Tom, Dick, and Harry challenging me to a fight. Mm -hmm. Not that I couldn't take them, but I have better ways to train my body than beating thugs. Anyway, I don't drink. Dulls the mind and softens the body. I see. Well, just thought I'd ask. I'm sorry I can't help you, Mr. Fordham, but I hope you solve whatever it is you're investigating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Moment, seem like a nice enough sort. So yeah, no frag. Tell me about your uncle. You know Tom? I've met him, yes. He's the one who told me where you lived. Oh, right. Well, my uncle is uh, an interesting man. Is that an interesting of the good or bad variety? I really wish he would take better care of himself is all. I have the feeling that he's on some sort of drug, although he always denies it. What gives you that impression? <laughs> well, most of the time he acts completely normal. He goes to work, visits with me, Sometimes we go out together to the theater or a gallery. But some days his mood changes. He goes very solitary, won't leave his house, gets short with me. One time I went to visit him, I heard him yelling along with what sounded like furniture being knocked about. It only happened once, but it worried me. I hope Tom isn't in any sort of trouble. 
Opium is one hell of a drug. It's a good thing you never got to that point with the soporific, or Adelaide would have thrown you out much sooner. <coughs> Are you all right, Mr. Ford? <laughs> yes, 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 I'm fine. What? Too soon? <laughs> mm -hmm. Tom's address? Oh, I understand. Did you give me Tom's address? You don't have it? I thought you said you'd spoken with him. I visited him at the cathedral. But if he's there, why do you yeah. want his address? Den später noch mal. Oh Gott, warte. Nein, auf gar keinen Fall. Zu früh. I just wanted to look at his thing. Ne, never mind. Erstmal never mind, dann können wir ihn später mal noch yeah, drauf anschauen. Ja, weil da verbauen wir uns alles sonst mit. Priscilla. Ja. Does the name Priscilla mean anything to you? Yes, yes, it most certainly does. My lady love is named Priscilla Poundstone. I see. What can you tell me about her? Oh, she's a darling. I love her very much. Obviously. Oh, Such a kind and gentle soul she is too. Loves animals, especially, especially dogs. dogs. We've been together for ages and are due to be married soon. When was the last time you saw her? Saw her? Oh, no, Mr. Fordham. She doesn't live in New Britannia. She attends Miss Threadneedle's Academy for Young Ladies mm -hmm. in Cormorant. She lives in New Holland? That's right. I've never actually met Priscilla face to face. We communicate exclusively through correspondence. Krass. How did you two get involved? Her father and mine were old military friends. They decided between them that their children would be oh, engaged. Okay. And you're both in agreement? Yes. I admit at first I was a bit hesitant, but we share many of the same interests. The distance between us is not a detriment to our love. I wonder how that will change once they actually begin cohabiting. Interesting, auf jeden Fall. So you correspond regularly with Priscilla? That's right. At least one letter a week. My uncle does me the kindness of acting as courier. Do you think I might have a look at one of those letters? What for? They're private correspondence. <laughs> I have to ask dumb questions. I feel this is important. Perhaps you could show me one that isn't too personal. Hmm. Yes, okay. I suppose that would be machen. all right. In fact, I think there's a recent one on the shelf there. That's not too private. But you won't need to take it, will you? Not at all. I just want to have a look. Mm -hmm. Gucken wir, ne? Ja. Thanks for your time. Wir das Folge, ne? Not a problem. Ja. Okay. Shelf, shelf, shelf. Da. No. Ah. Mein liebster Nett. Ich, na, das ist ja wohl eher dein Ziel. Mein liebster Nett, ich war so froh, als ich deinen letzten Brief bekam. Es läuft hier ganz gut. Ich fange im Laufe der nächsten Woche. Nein. Warte, ich fange in der nächsten Woche mit meinen Kursen an. Wie läuft das Kursen bei dir? Wie läuft es bei dir? Hast du das mit dieser Sporthalle hinbekommen, von der du gesprochen hast? Du musst mir eine. Ferio, was für eine Ferio-Typ? Ferio was ist denn eine Ferio-Typie? Keine Ahnung. Auf die New Physik. Von. Ah, also ein, ein Ergebnisstand deiner. deines. Deiner Physis. Deiner Körper. Mhm. Physis geben. Okay. Wait just a minute. Something's off here. The handwriting in this letter is different to the one we found before. Stimmt. Ja, There's something strange gesehen. going on with this Priscilla. Hm. Ich gibt's gar keine Priscilla. Können wir den noch ansprechen? Ich muss dir irgendwie oh. auch aufgefallen sein. Nee. Dann, Thanks for your time. Weil er wird hier ja nicht ja, selber klar. an sich selber schreiben. Ja. Boah, er hat so eine Menge, glaube ich, zum drüber nachdenken. What the und fuck? uns gehen und ein bisschen zu sortieren, ne? So machen wir dann mal Richtung nächste Session. Aber es wird immer besser, finde ich, die Fälle. Ja, der, der ist cool. Der erste. Ja, die waren alle irgendwie ganz cool. Aber der, der ist. Der, hier kommt man schneller rein, irgendwie, ne? Ist gleich so warm. Aber man gewöhnt sich auch dran, wie es funktioniert, finde ich. Ja, und es spaltet aber auch gleich so viele verschiedene Personen und, und Wege. Da gibt es auf jeden Fall einiges zu tun noch in der nächsten Folge für uns. Bis dahin. Bis dahin. Bam. Hallo. Bam. Der nicht mich boxen. Bam. Oh, ei, ei. <lacht> das war nicht mein Kopf. Meiner. <lacht> Tschüss. <lacht>